Welcome Scorpio to your weekly love tarot readings. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, a big welcome back and thank you for all your continuous support here. So as always, the reading that I'm doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread and um, it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So please take what resonates, discard the rest. Or perhaps you would like a um, personal tarot reading with me to do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is. Along with all the different types of readings that I offer, and you'll find that a personal tarot reading will is going to resonate with you more closely. So the spread that I'm doing here today is intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And of course to those um, of you that are cross-watching, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the messages the cards hold for you here, uh, Scorpio. So these messages here, they can... Um, they are intended for those of you that are single or perhaps for those of you that are coupled up as well, okay? Um, so as long as you have a romantic interest in mind as I do this reading, uh, that then should resonate. Or that should work. I shouldn't say should resonate because all your energies are different and you're not all the same people. You're not all dealing with the same energies or the same thing, right? Okay, so you have the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, the World, the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups and the Full card here. Okay, Scorpio, I get a strong sense that there is something here that you've released. A person that you've released, a connection that you let, let go of, um, a friendship, a romantic connection. There, there is something here that I feel like has left your life. Okay, and you've released it. It's, I feel like You've let it. You've let it go. You've let it go freely. I don't feel like there's no. I feel, yeah, it's 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 strange because it feels like it's a connection that at one point you held onto very tightly, like you held onto it. Um, you were clutching onto it so tightly because you didn't want it to slip from your grasp. You did not want to let it go. And then something happened, right? And then maybe life happened, something happened, and you had to release this connection. You had to let this person go. You had to let go of this connection, okay? Um, so what was released here and what you let go of is now I feel like finding its way back to you, okay? So there is a strong indication here, Scorpio, that you will be reconnecting with someone here and that you will have an opportunity to re-establish a connection, to um, to go back to something that you uh, once started, okay? There's going to be an opportunity for you to maybe rekindle um, a connection with someone or to reconnect with someone. Um, this person that you're reconnecting with here, uh, Scorpio, this is someone who is destined for you, or this is someone, I feel like this person is a part of your destiny, is what I'm seeing, and there's a reason why, you know, when they say, uh, you know, you have to let something go, if it comes back to you, it's yours, if it wasn't, um, if it doesn't, it never was, well, this person is coming back to you, this person is making his or her way back to you, even though you've released this person, even though you've released their energy, you know, I feel like there was no ill will. Like, I feel like you've just, you have the emotional maturity to let this person go. Even though a part of you might not have wanted to, even though it, you feel like it might have gone a bit against your better judgment, you've let this person go and you wished nothing but the best for them, okay? And now after some time, after some distance, after some time, after a separation here, okay? I feel like it's been quite some time since the two of you have spoken last. And I feel like it's a case of absence making the heart grow fonder. I don't know why it does that to people, but I feel like time apart here really um, really illuminates to people just how much just how much they can miss you at times or just how much they value your love um, or your presence, your energy here. So I feel like time apart with this individual, honestly, and um, even silence here, even time or um, the silence between the two of you, the distance, I feel like it's about to be bridged is what I'm seeing. So someone here is coming back, someone here wants to talk to you, someone here wants to reach out, they want to reconnect with you, they possibly actually want a second chance there here, maybe even a third or a fourth, but basically they want to make something work. They still feel like you guys have 
some fuel in the tank. They still feel like there's something here. Unfinished business, um, unexplored emotions. Uh, they definitely have lingering feelings for you. And Scorpio, I feel like, truth be told, you still have lingering feelings for them too. So I feel like a part of you is or will be um, quite pleased that this person is going to reconnect with you. For some of you, I feel like this person might have gone overseas to live overseas, or this person could be from um, from a different cultural background to you, someone who lives in another country or was born overseas, um, a foreigner or someone here with a strong accent, okay? Um, uh, this person is, yeah, I feel like it'll be uh, digital communication. I feel like this is someone who's going to either connect with you online here, um, through WhatsApp, through one of your social media um, platforms. For some of you, funnily enough, I feel like for those of you that may be joining um, dating a dating app, you might actually see their profile on a dating app. And that's not a coincidence. That's the universe bringing the two of you together. That, that's no coincidence. That's no mere coincidence. That's the universe guiding you to this person. You'll have a chance. You'll actually have a chance, a second chance, or you'll have another opportunity with this person. You may have a fresh emotional start with this person, or you may have a new beginning with this person. For some of you, it's quite the opposite. You'll have a chance to end things with them. So I said you've released this person, right? I've said you've released this person, you've released this energy, and you've you just let this person go. Maybe you've never really had closure, or maybe a part of you, all these time, all these years, you may have had strong feelings, or this person might have had strong feelings for you, and then, um, you know, over the duration of over the duration of these months or years here, uh, maybe you've moved on, but they haven't. So maybe them coming back is a way of them gaining closure, or maybe it'll give you closure here. Maybe it'll give you the closure that you need. Or maybe reconnecting with them. For some of you, I feel like you will take an opportunity of this, like you will take advantage of this opportunity, and you will want to revisit this connection. You will want to revisit these emotions, um, that you have for them. You want to go there again. You want to go you want to go back to the start with them and see if you can do it um, better this time around. For others of you, I feel like you'll be happy hearing from this individual. In fact, it'll plaster a smile across your face. But it's more like yeah, you're happy to hear from them. You're happy to hear that they're doing good, but you've moved on. You've moved on from them. This is someone who is, I feel they're very different. You guys are very different. I'm seeing with the, um, with temperance, this is your, this is someone whom you're very different. And I feel like either this person here has been waiting a long time to reach out to you, or you've been waiting a long time to hear from this person. Okay. So I feel like there was a lot of patience to do with this connection. And, um, yeah, and I feel like it's been quite some time. You guys haven't communicated, but um, the truth is, you guys have both think you guys have both been thinking about each other. They've been thinking about you. You, you think about them from time to time. Um, you may even have dreams of this person. So I feel like, and I feel like honestly, when you will start hearing from, like when this person will reach out and communicate to you, because they will. I feel like this person's energy is. Um, uh, they're coming in closer towards you, but I feel like that's when you're going to start, um, Scorpio, because you are quite intuitive. That's when you're going to start, you'll see, and it'll be really bizarre, but you'll start dreaming about them more often, or you'll start hearing their name mentioned more often. And even though it's like a un unique name, you'll start hearing it like maybe a lot more in the films you watch, or, you know, when you're out in a shopping center, you'll start hearing, so you'll suddenly just hear or read their name. Um, yeah, it's funny because you, you'll get little, um, it's the universe here. It's the universe that's going to send you little messages. And if you're receptive, you'll pick up on these messages. And that's about the time that this person is going to come in because it's the universe sort of giving you a heads up, really. Okay, Scorpies, um, this is pretty much your spread. That's it for the week. So, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching and listening and for showing your support to the channel. Um, Hope you've enjoyed the reading and I will catch up with you guys uh, later in the week. Take care.